time of budget cuts and it seems like we hear every two months that there are more cuts coming down and more cuts happen. The other day I had a, 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 a group of, of uh, parents who were talking to me about kindergarten through sixth grade. They had their children in the system they said, um, we don't understand the school district and why they keep cutting our teachers and now they cut our librarians and last week they told us they are going to cut six and our custodians and, 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 and they were very angry at the local school district. And I had to step them back and say, you know, this is really because of what is happening at the state level. The state has to have a balanced budget. It decides a certain formula of where funds will go. It tells each school district what they're going to send down. School district does their job. They build around that. And then two months later, when the state doesn't meet its projections, it has to go back and cut. And, of course, the cuts come back to the local school district. More notices are given out to teachers about being laid off. Parents become nervous and antsy about what's going on in the school district. And, um, and they don't understand that sometimes it may not be the board itself, but it's what's happening in Sacramento. And you do this four times in a row, about every two months, and you have the situation that we have in California with another set of cuts coming down. And, of course, the state in some ways takes the easy way, and that they say we're just not sending down as many funds. And so, once again, we're going through the pink slip process, and, you know, where's the money going to come to keep these teachers? I will say one thing. Last year, about this time, the federal government passed the American Recovery Act. You can say a lot of things about the stimulus package. Well, one of those things that the stimulus package had was monies to stabilize our state government, including monies to come down to the local level to help keep teachers employed and the schools open. Now, you heard um, my good friend Manny talk about how I do intelligence and uh, war and terrorism and Security, Homeland Security, and the Congress. That's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But during the summer, this past summer, I worried every single night when I went to, went to sleep, not about the next terrorist threat, but more importantly, how we were going to get money to the schools to keep them open, the public schools of California. That was our biggest concern. And the Recovery Act was able to bring these monies and that's why you didn't see the type of layoffs that were pink slipped in the beginning. But we are in that process again. Again, the schools are seeing that they're going to have uh, less funds, and they're worried, and they're pink slipping people, and here goes the process again. And there's one thing I can say. The California delegation, at least the Democrats, at least the Democrats, I hope the Republicans, it's very rare that we meet together to tell you the truth, but the California delegation to the Congress understands that at this point, if there are no funds at the state level, that we are going to have to figure out how to get the funds up from the federal level and bring them into California to keep the schools open. And we're committed to doing that. We put up a bill in December called the Jobs Bill, it has stabilization funds for teachers. Unfortunately, that $185 billion bill was not approved by the Senate yet. And instead, the Senate sent us back a $15 billion bill that were tax cuts to small businesses. So monies for our schools are still absent in the pipeline coming from a package like that. We'll try again, because we understand that keeping our students in school is incredibly important. That's one of the roles that we've taken on to try to make happen. What happens inside of the classroom, well, you have some real experts here to talk to you, that, to talk to you about that. Uh, the President, Obama, has um, now taken on a new secretary and a new direction and wants to redo um, no Child Left Behind wants to bring up this year, if you will, what we call the ESEA, the 
um, Elementary and Secondary Education Act, that this is the involvement of the federal government in the kindergarten through 12th grade. That's our involvement. That's our blueprint. It will be brought up for work in the Education Committee. It will hopefully be brought to the floor. It will be debated. It will be amended. And you will see what direction or how the federal government wants to impact across the nation the kindergarten through 12th grade public 